contracts must be supported by consideration. In Laporte v. Blum, we explore whether one party's promise to continue operating a family farm provides adequate consideration for an option agreement. When Lawrence and Ruth Burgess were in their 80s, they stopped operating a sugar house on the couple's farm. Several years later, the Burgess's grandsons, William and James Laporte, started sugaring on the Burgess's property again. The Laporte's aunts and uncles, including Pamela Blum, objected to this arrangement. Nevertheless, the Burgesses were eager to have their grandsons continue the family farming operation after the Burgesses' deaths. The Burgesses ultimately deeded the farmland to the Laporte's aunts and uncles, whom we'll refer to collectively as Blum. The Burgesses retained a life estate for themselves. To address Blum's opposition to the Laporte's sugaring operation, the Burgesses granted the Laporte's an option to purchase the land for $400,000. The option would expire if the Laportes didn't exercise it within nine months after the latter of the Burgesses' deaths. The Burgesses also leased the land to the Laportes in the interim so they could keep sugaring before exercising the option. The Burgesses died in 2013. In June of that year, Blum wrote to the Laportes and purportedly revoked the option. The Laportes attempted to exercise the option the following September. The Laportes then sued Blum to enforce the option. Blum argued that the option wasn't enforceable for lack of consideration. Specifically, Blum noted that the option recited that it was given for $10 and other good and valuable consideration. No one recalled the parties actually exchanging $10, however. The attorney who drafted the option testified that he'd never seen anyone exchange the nominal amount recited as consideration in his many decades of practice. Although the Laportes admitted that the property was worth more than $400,000, Blum didn't adduce any further evidence regarding the property's fair market value. Following a bench trial, the court proceeded to issue its decision.